She's in charge of HR. She's just a happy girl. Just a happy girl. She's a happy girl. <laughs>to apply to be my assistant yes i'm here for the job opening i saw posted on linkedin oh great so yeah. what kind of qualifications do you have well i'm extremely uh, well versed in the art of uh <laughs> and have you ever produced a podcast before i have not ever produced a podcast but i've supported people who have done that so i can um, assist about, in supporting you how about youtube channels no nope, uh, we don't do that here okay what? I know you're new to the workforce. No, stop. Let's start over. So. <laughs> will you be willing to bend over and pick up my pencils when I ask you to? I will bend over and pick up anything you like, sweetie. You've been doing it for the last 27 years. Hi, Holly. Holly is my uh, vice president. This is the vice president of my company. Hi, uh, yes. And um, my CEO is over here. Chief financial officer. CFO. No, he's the CEO. He's in charge of everything. She's in charge of... She's in charge of HR. She's just a happy girl. Just a happy girl. Very social. Always looking out for others. Do you like my new office? I do. I do. I really do. We need to put something on that wall. And then over here we have a chair and an ottoman. See? Up there. Which is kind of like a little cozy corner with my orchids and my Buddha. And my lovely white curtains. Put in here. This is my lemon tree. Never made a lemon. And I'm working on assembling some microphone arm thing to hang that nice picture. Isn't it pretty in here? So we have this really gorgeous rug under here where Henry is and the floors are nice and the plants are nice and the assistant, um, you know, you can leave your resume with the secretary when you're leaving. I'm still moving in folks, still moving in here. But it's a happy room, isn't it? It is. It's very nice. You did a good job with it. You really did. Really good. I even have my Be Happy mug. Be Happy mug? Mm hmm. You got my Be Happy doggy. You do? My yes. Be Happy doggy. Nice Holly. All right. I'm going to finish editing this, this video here. So, this is a definite work in progress. In here, I'm having like a dilemma over what to put on the walls. And see what I did with these guys? I got these pictures at, at IKEA. Just, just a print. But I put soundproofing acoustic foam into the back of them so that's just in a little soundproofing hack that i saw somewhere that would help with the acoustic issues of not having your voice travel because it travels <laughs> i want to go downstairs with henry now because i think he wants his dinner and john just went grocery shopping for his parents but it's friday night and put this this oreos in here a little snack time, I guess. So I'm going to go downstairs and make dinner for the dogs. It's a work in progress, but isn't it nice? This is the desk. The other acoustic -y pictures over there, I put foam on the back of that one. And I just hung it loosely on the wall there. Because I like it. I think it's pretty nice. And these are some of my little friends. And those things can be changed also. I just don't know really what to do in here. Hello. Okay, I'm really tired. I'm just sitting in here trying to get some things done. I'm like falling asleep at my desk. I got my, my, my Blue Yeti microphone hooked up here. <coughs> mm -hmm. So tomorrow I'm going to do a little bit of um, practice recording. I have, um, I have a book over here that's filled with ideas and like outlines of podcast topics. So we'll see. We'll see what I get going. I still need a logo. I have not found anyone to design a logo for me yet. And now I'm going to bed. Happy Saturday morning from my 
other office. All right, I'm going to bring down my, my laptop and go have some more coffee. I'm reading uh, Matthew McConaughey's Green Lights. Just started it. One chapter in and I'm all I'm like, yeah, this man's talking about bumper stickers. Yeah, I had to read more. Is it working now? Yeah. What are we watching? Soccer? A little soccer? Doggies are good on their walk. How far did you get? Mm. Up. No, no, no. Up to the horses. And then I turn. go down door? Yeah, down door to those horses at the Appleberry Farm. Hi, Henry. Oh, did you make it all the way up to the hill? No, that's what we, at the bottom of the hill we turned around. Who wanted to turn around? Me. My, my leg was starting to hurt. Let's see, over here we got this guy on our happy, calm, quiet, peaceful Saturday afternoon. Hi, Titi. Apparently my camera is working. I thought it was broken. The other battery I put in, it just would shut off. And so I put a different one in and it's working. But I think there might be a sort of a loose situation in the battery component drawer. Not drawer, the little door. Because I researched it on Canon. It says sometimes if that little door gets wonky, the camera can't read the battery and the memory card sometimes. Hopefully it continues to cooperate with me and yeah and I can continue to vlog today today was a good day so far we woke up and um, pretty early like 6 30 the nurse came around 8 I was able to do a really nice you know 40 minute meditation which was great this morning it was so good and I like to sit right here the sun's coming up it's just lovely and um, John went for a walk I took a shower, my water went cold, I don't know what happened there, so I gotta go look at the furnace, but um, after that we went out while the nurse was here and went got some coffee at Starbucks, and then we went to the repair shop, picked up the van, which was, you know, the van, the van had problems, but they fixed the tie rods and the ball joints and the brake pads, and it was expensive, but, you know, we need the van until we get a new van, which I don't know when that'll be. Hmm. We'll get a van, and I'm gonna get the van that I want, hopefully, or similar to, which is basically a minivan with a manual, or a moderately manual ramp system for Daniel. No more lifts. We, the reason and the story behind the big van is that we got it 17 years ago when the kids were little, you know? We had a big family and lots of stuff, and Daniel and equipment and, it made sense and lift works great so I'm going to settle down in a little while after lunch try to get a video up again I did one yesterday oh yeah I also mailed a package to Sarah because she had left some stuff behind by accident and that, that happens and talk to her briefly she seems good it's been one week now one week since she left and you know see we survive I always say I gotta I gotta get through that feeling of missing them after they just after they leave is the hardest because they were just here so now they're gone it's fine it's just the transition that's really hard for me and I just accept it it's hard I don't try to change it sometimes you just have to give your feelings value anyway so happy Saturday What's the date today? Does anybody know? March 13? Everything's happy. Or calm. Quiet. Peaceful. For now. Almost a little too quiet. But that's okay. I'm not taking a walk. Come on, dogs. We picked up our van at the repair shop. Cost $1,200. So, I don't usually have a nurse on Saturdays, but... Ashley needed to make up some hours, so that was good. So she's there 8 to 12. Am I so winded? <laughs> I've only been walking for three minutes. I had to get myself in shape. I went swimming three times this week. Three times. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, well, we got the furnace fixed. Thank goodness. It wasn't anything tremendous, just a switchy thing. The guy came today, we thought, oh my goodness, no heat, no hot water, we need a new furnace. But they fixed it. The van's fixed, the furnace is fixed. You're tired. You're gonna go to bed at seven o'clock again? You look so sleepy. I love you. It's a busy life. It feels really quiet right now. <laughs> Even though we're not. It was just like the world felt quiet. But I'm so glad we got our furnace fixed. I was so afraid that like, we're just gonna have a big ordeal. <sighs> this time last year, my whole family was coming home to quarantine and everybody was all freaked out and scared. We survived a year without catching it here anyway, or in our family. Oh, you found your spot, my Sweet kitty, 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 kitty. Oh yeah, you're so happy. <laughs> you silly.